श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम सत्व सुखे संजयति रज कर्मणि भारत ज्ञान आवृत्य तो तम प्रमादे संजयत्युत सो दिस थ्री गुणाज कीप अस टाइट डाउन इन दिस वर्ल्ड इन दिस थ्री एरियाज द एरिया ऑफ कंफर्ट विच इज प्रिडॉमिनेंटली द फील्ड ऑफ सेंस ऑर्गन्स एंड द माइंड बाइंड्स अस थ्रू सत्व गुणा then the area of actions dynamism achievements failure is the area predominated by the rajoguna which ties us down and third the area of ignorance indolence and pramada means inability to change oneself this thing is in the field of tamoguna and thus these three things tie us down in the relative existence now uktam karyam kada kurvanti guna iti uchyate now these three effects of this is the gunas uh, when they become active means when sattva becomes active when rajas becomes active and when tamas becomes active so first sattva we have seen in short rajas tamas cha bibhuya sattvam bhavati bharat when rajas and tamas they are overpowered then sattva becomes very very bright this is how if we want to study and understand something our mind and our faculty should be totally relaxed alert without any agitations or laziness this happens when we have got out of the sleep good sleep deep sleep and we have not yet involved ourselves in the worldly activities that is the time called as brahma murta or any time when you are fresh that freshness comes when the rajas and tamas they are overpowered by the sattva the knowledge aspect of the prakriti as we told you there are three aspects of prakriti knowledge action and dravya the objects so what is more important for us if more important for us is knowledge then we will be predominantly sattvic but that sattva guna will never remain all the time it will keep on changing so this is the first aspect sattva rajas chaabi bhuya ana rajas tamas chaabi bhuya sattvam bhavati bharat or boring the activity and the laziness sattva predominates and we are able to understand things in one go we are able to enjoy the subtlety of everything our perceptions become very bright and very clear then the second one rajaha sattvam tamaschaiva and how the uh, rajas becomes <coughs> powerful sattva and tama the knowledge aspect and the laziness aspect when this is overpowered that means one is neither lazying around nor one is contemplative under that condition the rajoguna becomes predominant and 
we get involved in the activities incessantly. Such people are workaholics. They just can't keep quiet. They have to do something or the other. Now the third guna. The third tamaha sattvam rajastata. And how the tamo guna becomes prominent by overpowering the sattva and the rajas. So when tamo guna becomes overpowered, we lose interest in life. We don't participate in life. We are living because of expertise in a failure. We have failed even to die. And therefore we are alive. Such kind of life is because sattva and rajas is overpowered by this tamas. And remember, no guna can remain all the time same through and through. It keeps on changing continuously. Take an example to understand this. You get up from the sleep. You are very fresh. Sattva guna. And then you think, let me study or let me do meditation. So, sattva is overpowered. Tamas and Rajas is quietened. Then the Rajaguna starts showing his signs. What is that? I don't know how people are so lazy in this world, how they get involved in these worldly things, why they don't become spiritual, I don't know. It's good, you know, I am at least, you know, on the right path. Now that Sattva Guna is slowly, slowly becoming tamas, uh, becoming rajas. Because rajas is the one which has that doership, that I do this, nobody does. So slowly that sattva is reducing, falling down to the rajas. And when this happens, then immediately the person out of the contemplative quiet mood, he gets out and he gets into activity. So early morning time is meant for study, contemplation, meditation. Instead of that, let us go for jogging. So such a beautiful time of the day when all the Rishi, Munis, Siddha Purushas are available for guiding the sincere seekers of truth. That time, as if we are afraid of their arrival in our house, we go for jogging, running away. So jogging is running away from the reality. So we keep on running and get physically involved in life. Rajaguna. And the third stage is after that has been done and then laziness and tiredness and then only matter-oriented lifestyle. This is how these three gunas keep on changing our lifestyle. This is one. Now, how the three gunas keep on changing our inner world, mind? This is all required to be known, not for evaluating others, but observing oneself. So, there, what is that which can be done about this is... You want to start meditation in the morning or you have done some good act, helping somebody or you want to go and help somebody, Sattva Guna is predominant. Then when you have done something good, as a result of that you have developed yourself as someone special, better than others, comparison Raja Guna begins. And then third, anyway, I have never done meditation so far. I think best way is to give charity and relax. So, this is how the three gunas keep on playing in our inner world. So, Rajas Tamas Chabibhuya Sattvam Bhavati Bharata Rajas Sattvam Tamas Chaiva Tamas Sattvam Rajas Tatha.
सो रजहातमहा च उभौ अपि अभिभूय सत्वं भवति उद्भवति वर्धते यदा तदा लब्धात्मकं स्वत्वं स्वकार्यं ज्ञान सुखादि आरभते हे भारत सो वेन दिस टू आस्पेक्ट रजस एंड तमस आर ओवर पावर्ड द सत्व बिगिन्स इट्स इफेक्ट वॉट आर द इफेक्ट ज्ञान सुखादि आरभते आयदर वी वॉन्ट समथिंग टू be very calm and quiet and enjoy the bliss of solitude or study then second is tatha rajogunah satvam tamaha cha eva ubhav api abhibhuya vardhate yada tada karma trishnadi svakaram arabhyate and when the sattva and the rajas are overpowered then the rajoguna becomes active and his effects are the karma drishnadi lots and lots of things are required to be done and we start then tamah akhya guna satvam rajam cha ubhav api abhibhuya then this tamo guna overpowering the remaining two vardhate yada tada jnana avaranadi svakaram arabhate then the this tamo guna begins his effect first is jnana avaran the purpose of our life is not clear we have not learned from our life's experiences we repeat the same ek mistake again and again so when tamo guna is prominent such a person he is untouched by the wisdom he live the same wretched life again and again after having said this so when sattva guna becomes prominent yada yoguna udbhuto bhavati tada tasya kim lingam iti uchyate so when the sattva radas tamas they become active and prominent in our system during that period what are the signs that are manifest in our life 11th verse सर्वद्वारेशु सर्वद्वारेशु प्रकाश उपजायते ज्ञान यदा तदा विद्या विवृद्ध सत्वुत सर्वद्वारेशु आत्मन उपलब्धि द्वाराणी श्रोत्रादीनी सी स्टडी ऑल्सो आई टोल्ड यू गेन आर एक्सपीरियंस इज ऑलवेज थ्रू नॉलेज एंड नॉलेज इज गेन्ड थ्रू द सेंस ऑर्गन्स एंड द माइंड एंड इंटेलेक्ट therefore sarvadwareshu atmanah upalabdhi dwarani shrutradini sarva karanani sarvani karanani so all our faculties through which we come in contact with the world gathering the knowledge about shabda sparsha roop rasa gandha etc teshu sarvadwareshu antakarnasya buddhehe vrittihi prakashah asmin dehe upajayate as a result of this what happens our understanding about everything is clear and without ambiguity this is what happens we have seen in our patanjali yoga darshan that rutambhara prajna is what is this only rutambhara prajna is when our intellect has become so pure that our perceptions are no more limited to the already acquired knowledge but our perception can cross the limitations and the boundaries of the known field of experience that ability in our mind is when the mind is predominantly satvic most of the time such people have got vyutpanna mati such people are extremely sharp they look at the world in a fraction of second their assessment evaluation understanding is perfect so 
यदा यो गुण उद्भूत होती तदा तस्य किम लिंगम उच्चते तो दिस इज द लिंगम वेद सत्व गुण इज ओवर पावरिंग रजस एंड तमस इज नो मोर डिस्टर्बिंग तो व्हाट विल बी द कंडीशन ऑफ सच ए माइंड इट इज अंडिस्टर्ब एंड नॉन स्लीपी माइंड सी टू थिंग्स डिस्टर्ब माइंड इज अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ रजोगुण एंड स्लीपी माइंड इज अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द तमस सो वेन द एजिटेशन एंड द स्लीपी डेज टू एक्सट्रीम्स disappear then buddhehi vrittihi prakashah asmin dehi upajayate tada eva jnanam yada evam prakasha jnana ke upajayate tada jnana prakashena lingena vidya vivruddham udbhutam satvam iti utapi so when this condition comes up in our life understand now the sattva guna has increased its proportion so this is only for the purpose of explanation don't calculate what i am telling you only for understanding i am giving example when the three gunas are in exact equilibrium then there is no manifestation and when sattva becomes more in proportion and increases and as a result of which the rajas and tamas are reduced this is the first step when the sattva has become powerful and the knowledge aspect starts appearing this is how when we get out of the sleep this is the first experience we know but what is that we do not know we get disturbed immediately rajas and tamas have started acting. so this is the first now suppose our sattva is uh, 70% and uh, uh, 25% is tamas and 5% is rajas then what will happen we want to get up and we will get up but again you know that tamas will say after the half an hour okay so now see this three condition you get out of the sleep because of the sattva guna you after you get up then you want to start your job raja guna is working but again no let me lie down for another half an hour again tapo guna is taking place in this manner these three gunas are constantly playing havoc in our life and therefore we must know that if the sattva guna is predominant harvest immediately study understanding should be done the moment you recognize you are fresh then don't do anything else therefore early morning when we get up and if you are not sleepy etc you are bright and brilliant that time either study the upanishad bhagavad gita or leave everything and experience awareness not aware of anything when we become aware of anything we are reducing from the sattva to the rajas and the tamas aware of is the object tamo guna has come and then i am aware of something i is born rajo guna has come because then that pure awareness is divided into the knower known knowledge the triputi the triad the three things therefore jnanam yada tada vidya vivruddham sattvam ityata this is how the sattva guna is our friend and you know why it is called a sattva sat we have seen this thing in the bhashya of patanjali yoga darshan you must have seen so sat is parmatma absolute existence and tva is the ness like sweet and sweetness what is the difference sweet and sweetness sweet is the absolute and sweetness of the coffee sweetness of the modaka sweetness of uh, rasgulla 
So, in that sweet, when something else is also included, it is not absolute sweet, therefore sweetness. Similarly, Sat is pure existence and Sattva is that which is predominantly yet intermitted or uh, contaminated by something else. Now, like what? Pure Sat is existence. And when I see this object, how this object is seen? The object is. So that existence is now associated with the objectivity. So when existence is not associated with the objectivity, it is called as realization. When existence is associated with the objectivity, it is called as sattva. And from here the prakriti, Devatma Shaktim Svagunair Nigudham begins operating. Therefore, the Sattva Guna is called as Sattva. Now, Rajasya Udbhutasya Lingam Idam Chinnam. Now, we take the next one. Why it is called, what is the sign of Rajaguna when it becomes prominent? Lobha Pravritti Rarambhaha. Karmanamasha Maspruha Rajasetani Jayante Vyuruddhe Bharatarshabha Lobhaha Paradravyaditsa Lobha means the greed to accumulate whatever I want, even if it belongs to someone else. Paradravyadi Itsa is Itcha is called as the Lobha. Like you know, this greed is compared in Ramcharit Manas with the Kapha. Lobha Kapha Chati Jara. Like you know, the cough, it keeps on coming out, coming, it never gets exhausted. In the same manner, <coughs> the greed does not have the alam pratte. This is enough, no. If I get something more, I'll wait. This is how you know many boys and girls don't get married only because of this greed. What is the greed? Maybe I may get some good boy, so the girl keeps on waiting, 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 and then she gets a good man, not a boy. Because it is too late. So, lobhaha. Then, pravruttihi, pravartanam, samanya cheshta, arambaha kasya karmanam. Second is, pravruttihi, pravrutti is the involvement or the active lifestyle. All the time, something or the other has to be done. Once I was in Badrinath and there was one uh, Swami and me, we were going for a walk. In the morning, after we finish our darshan, he said, Swamiji, um, I want to go walk with you for some time and we'll discuss something about Paramatma. I said, all right. So I got out of my room and we started walking. And then there was one, one Swamiji who was coming from Badrinath temple side and while walking on the road, he was moving his hands like this. Both sides he will take up and then he will do like this thing and then he will do like this on the way and all that. So I saw him oh, go ahead. So he said, Swamiji, are you observing that Babaji? I said, yes. Do you know what it is? I said, I don't know. Rajoguni. So whenever there is predominance of Rajoguna, we just can't keep quiet. If you want to see this thing, not for evaluation, for your understanding, you go in the joggers parks, where the people walk. You will see, from there you can see, some people walk for the joy of walking. Some people have a target to be achieved. 
I will complete, I see this thing, whenever I go in the evening for lecture from Shivaji Park, there are some people whom I see always when I cross. They have some goal in their life. What is that? I have to make 10 rounds of Shivaji Park in so much time. And, and then we sweating and all that, and that sweat and all that, they are very proud of, you know, that I am sweating. So, Rajasetani Jayantik. So, the second D is Pravritti. Getting too much involved in physical activities. Lobaha Pravritti. Then the third is Arambaha Karmanam. Such people are always interested in starting something new. What is there is enough. Very good. Look after that maximum. No, we want to create more and more and more. And when such people are there, they want to do something and naturally they will require then funds, they will require the people to help them and so many and a whole tamasha begins and then regrets. I don't know why did I start that. Karmanam Ashamaha. They just can't keep quiet. So prarambaha karmanam, they will begin lot and lot of activities. The other day where I went, Recently. So, they were telling me, Swamiji, actually, you know, Bhagwan Ki Daya say, uh, I am in there also, I am the president, and there I am a trustee, and there I am a treasurer, and there I am uh, this thing, and you know, our society, there also I am the in charge. And you know, Bhagwan keeps me busy, and now they are telling me that I should start some uh, new. Uh, you know, ashram association in Bombay, so we can associate all the ashrams together and then, you know, something can Continuously getting involved, such people, be very attentive. They are afraid to face their own mind. Therefore, we keep busy. So, karmanam, pravrtihi, then ashamaha, uh, ashamaha, anupashamaha. Anupashamaha harsha ragadi pravrittihi Because they are unable to withdraw once they get involved in the activities. Such people within the family, they do not allow their next generation to grow. Such people create bonsai out of their own next generation. Because this old man doesn't want to give up anything. He continues all the time. And then the children of such people, you know what they do? They become devotees of the Lord. Because they all the time pray, Oh Lord, take him away. Oh Lord, take him away. He is not going. So, karmanam ashamaha. They just don't want to withdraw. Friends, withdrawal with understanding is a joyful experience. And when we are forced to get out, then we start suffering. Therefore, we have to be very aware when we withdraw, like, you know, these days the virus of VRS is everywhere throughout India. So when you take VRS, you must know, you, are you able to remain without getting involved anywhere? If not, continue, destroy the government anyway, doesn't matter. Don't destroy your life. So, karmanam ashamaha, then spruha, sarva samanya vastu vishaya trishna. Spruha is the uh, habit of accumulating the things because I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. You must have seen in the many houses, you wonder whether this house is meant for the people to live or for the furniture to stay. And then you require, I think I should have one more room. Why? There is no bedroom. Everywhere there is furniture. So, spruha sarva samanya vastu vishaya trushna. About everything I want, I want. The other day I was reading an article in a newspaper or somewhere. There is a disease, the name they have given something. And the disease is the disease of shopping. Those who are, and this you, I have seen such people. Once I had to go to Chennai from uh, Hyderabad and uh, 
to you know, on my way somebody was supposed to come and meet me on the airport and they had recently married about a month before so that girl was coming and meeting me for the first time i knew her right from childhood with her husband so i said i am going to meet them for the first time i must give them at least one pant piece and one shirt piece and one sari something like that so i told my friend i said hey this is the thing i have to go and buy something let us go and buy something he said no don't worry i'll arrange i said how will arrange he said i have got ats at home <laughs> what is this ats he said you don't know i said i don't know he said anti tetanus serum he said no that is a medical term that i don't know i said then what is ats he said ats means any time shopping my wife is extremely fond of shopping if there is nothing to shop she will spend money from her pocket buy things and give people free but she must go for shopping so sarva samanya vastu vishaya trishna keep on having desire about this or that then rajasi gune vruddhe vivruddhe etani lingani jayante he bharatarshabha so he arjun when rajoguna becomes prominent this is how are the signs of now this rajoguna is overpowering us and you will see <coughs> the things that we accumulate we don't use all of them hardly few of them are used and yet they we want we want we are not able to stop purchasing that habit of purchasing and accumulating is terrible that is the rajoguna now our friend aprakasho pravrutischa aprakasho pravrutischa pramado moha evacha तमस्येतानि जायन्ते तमस्येतानि जायन्ते विवृद्धे कुरु नंदन विवृद्धे कुरु नंदन ना हियर ऑल द थ्री थिंग्स आर पुट टुगेदर फर्स्ट अप्रकाशः द साइंस ऑफ सत्व गुण हैव डिसअपियर्ड व्हाट इज द सत्व गुण सर्व द्वारेषु देहेस्मिन प्रकाशः उपजायते so first this aprakasha ha avivekaha then this is now when we don't have discrimination understanding interest in the life such people are leading death and such dying people are called in the prosperous language as depression you will see depression is the luxury of the rich filthy people a person who is working hard in his life he cannot afford to he doesn't know what is depression because he is not having that overpowering effect of tamoguna when the tamoguna is overpowering we don't remember understand please remember this thing whenever you become lazy for anything whenever you lose interest in your life whenever the gates of learning are closed then understand you are entering the new era of the prosperous society called as depression you all had fortunately seen one case here remember how that gujarati girl for the first time when she came to bombay she was like a furniture at least furniture has got a smile <laughs> just sitting there like a rock and right in front of my eyes you know there are some uh, some time you know when you are talking to people you will see when you start doing this you get different expressions on the faces of the people there was one um, student who i ultimately removed in from one of the batches he was mental like we have that mental girl here sometime she comes so when he was there uh, he will sit in the class 
and I never used to look at him. Because the moment I look at him, he will stand. <laughs> and he is constantly busy with some kind of abnormality. Now imagine if you are talking to somebody and somebody is making a face like that. What a challenge it is to talk. That is your sadhana. So, aprakashaha, no life at all, depression, frustration. This is, if one extreme, other, other extreme is, you go on talking and the other fellow is very disturbed, disgusted and he goes on imagining, everything is being addressed to me, I know. He is only talking about me only. There is no other example for him. I know, you know. See, one day one girl wrote me a letter. Swamiji, I got your message. But I tell you, I don't require to work. My father told me I got sufficient money. Don't worry, beta, don't have to work. And uh, I am single. I am not going to get married because I don't like marriages. Then you get married only once if you don't like more marriages. See? And therefore I don't work. And you tell, told in the lecture that never spend a day of your life without producing wealth. And I am not required to produce wealth. So why should I do? And therefore I want to make it clear to you. No, I don't know who is that dumb creature and the one who has written that letter. But we feel that, you know, things are being said about me. Understand, Tavoguna is overpowering. So, aprakashaha, atyanta avivekaha. Then apravruttihi and such persons are never interested in anything in life. Friend, this is the meaning I gave you about Isha Asya Upanishad. Kurvan neveha karmani jiji visheshatagam sama. Live dynamically in this world, taking full interest in life. Taking full interest doesn't mean you are all the time shouting and doing ha ha hu hu. Meaning living and li a life of awareness. This is not, I don't know, living somehow or the other, no. Therefore, aprakashaha, then apravruttisya. And when you are just living the life of indolence, ex uh, apravrutti, never wanting to do anything in life, you know what happens? After some time, our faculties become blunt. This is the technique used for meditation. What is meditation? When you are practicing Sayyama, Trayamekatra Sayyamaha, the same object in the same place for a long period of time when all the three are focused on one, then it is called a Sayyama. So what do you do? You don't allow your mind to go from one object to another object. You don't your mind to go from one place to another place and you hold that condition of the mind for a long period of time. As a result, what will happen? The faculty of thinking, responding, reacting slowly dies away. This is what it happens. Now like, you know, when you are writing, because you are doing, you know, my writing has stopped for many years now. So when I start writing, First, second line comes very nice and thereafter the hand just doesn't move because the habit or practice of writing is suspended. The same thing happens in Tamoguna. We slowly start becoming indolent, lazy, then there is no interest in reading, there is no interest in writing, there is no interest in participating, there is no interest in seeing the world. One. Uh, Husband and wife complain. Wife complain. Swamiji, her husband was a railway employee. See, my whole life I have spent with this man in a railway quarter. Like the railway lines, he is dead. No interest in anything. And we get the pass, so we can move everywhere in the country. 
So I used to tell him, look here, in our whole life we have been staying in this small useless village. Now you are retired. So let us go to Bombay. I have not seen Bombay, only heard about it. So please take me to Bombay. And he is so lazy, indolent. He said, what is there in Bombay? Tell me. Road in between. Shops are building both sides. Now we go outside in our village and imagine that we are in Bombay. This is the road we are. And outside there are small tea shops. Imagine there are multi-story tea shops. And go to Bombay. See? Apravritti. Then third is Pramada. Moha evacha. Pramada, I told you. This is Pramada. This is one definition you understand. The original Dhatu is Mother. From Mother only the word Mada has come. See? And from the word Mada alone, the word Madi has come. See? That animal or a woman who is hysteric, she is referred as Madi. So what is that mother? Mother is overpowering the uh, procreative desire makes that person hysteric. So Pramod, Pramada, Pramada is what therefore? He who is doing the same mistake again and again and he is arrogant about it. He is not ashamed of that. And what is that? Be very attentive. We again and again insist and live as a body. So, not recognizing our divinity, not putting forward efforts to discard the body identification and recognize that I am the jiva, then inquire about the jiva bhava and go beyond the jiva hood and come to discover that we are the absolute reality. When this is not done, one mistake, aprakasha. Second thing, the, this is not recognized, this is aprakashaha, for that no efforts are put forward, this is apravruttihi. And third, living as a body, by the body, on everybody is a pramad, the third stage. Such people live with great arrogance, that I don't believe in anything, only I believe that, you know, so as long as we are living, we should enjoy life, even at the cost of others. No. Therefore, aprakasha, apravruti, pramada. And when this pramada takes root in us, then the moha, what is the moha? Moha will be extension of the wrong notions in all the departments of our life's experiences is moha. So, when I take myself to be body, then what will be my lifestyle? Only waking experience alone is the complete experience. There is nothing beyond that. Second thing, if I am a man or a woman, young or old, so all the modifications of the body become my modification. Then I have all the relations in this world. So my life becomes a relative life. And this is how our life becomes totally pramada influence. So aprakasha, apravrutti, pramada moha evacha, Etani tamasya vivruddhe jayante he kurunandara. So all these things grow. Vivruddhe, they grow tremendously. These are the signs. When tamoguna is overpowering our existence. So this is what happens during life. What happens? The impact of these three gunas after death. When you talk about life, death also is there. Now this is said, Maranadvarena api yad phalam prapyate tad api sangaraga hetukam sarvam gaunam eva iti darchayana. So what happens to us after death depends on in what mood we have died. See? Sometime you know, it so happens, suppose you know, you are taking early morning class, Upanishad or you have finished meditation 
and we have to finish our job because we got next class. So many times it happens. So some, therefore I don't allow two person to come and stay with me. When two come, then the cinema begins. So you go there and suppose you are in the same deep mood, so you go and again sit for another one hour. Because that your mood is extremely sattvic. And so at the time of leaving this room, you left this room in a sattvic predominance. Suppose you sit over here and the clothes were bothering you because you have not washed them. So you are just waiting for me to over, 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 room. somebody else will enter the bathroom, go and catch, 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 start washing clothes. So at the time of leaving the room, the Rajoguna was overpowering us. And the third thing, the sleep became incomplete during meditation. So we get up, go out and continue sleep in the room. So three things. When this happens, when we leave our classroom, exactly the same thing happens when we leave our body. And this is what is said in the next two, three verses. Yada Sattve Pravruddhetu Pralayam yati deha bhruta Tato tamavidan lokan Amalan pratipadyate Yada sattve pravruddhetu Pralayam yati deha bhrut Deha bhrut, this jivatma when he pralayam yati, when he discards the body and in a common language, when he dies. So what happens to his body, we all know. People celebrate, thank God, this fellow is God. And then they burn out of happiness, you know, when there is happiness, what we do, we have crackers, light and all that, therefore they burn the body over. Now what happens to that jiva after death? So, yada sattve pravruddhe udbhute At the time of death, if that person has been extremely sattvic at the time of death, that means he was sitting for meditation and halfway he left the body or he was sitting for doing his japa Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om, and over. Namah Shivaya will do later. So in this manner, when in extremely sattvic mood, when the jiva leaves the body, then what happens? Tada Uttama Vidan Lokan. So Tada Uttama Vidan, which are those Mahadadi Tattva Vidam, iti etat. So those words which are known as the higher worlds, Mahat Adi. So, Bhur, Bhur, Swaha, Maha, Jana, Tapa, Satyam, the higher worlds, he goes there. Mahat Adi, Tattva, Vidan. And which are these Lokan? Loka means experience. Loka means the place of existence. In our scriptures, it is said there are Chaturdasha Bhuvanani, 14 worlds. Seven higher world, seven lower world, and in uh, our Prithvi is Dabbawala world, isn't it? So, when this person leaves the body under the influence of the Sattva Guna, then he enters the higher world. And how are the, what are these higher world? Lokan Amalan, Malarahitan. Malarahitan means there the impact of Rajas Tamas is almost negligible. And therefore it is said the devatas or the higher lives, they do not have the gross body as we have, but they have the divine bodies. Now what are the divine bodies? 
न तत्र तम न जरया विभेति उभेति अशनाया पिपासे मोदते स्वर्ग लोके शोकातिगो मोदति स्वर्ग लोके इन द स्वर्ग लोक दिस शड उर्मीज आर एब्सेंट सो हायर वर्ल्ड्स आर दोज वर्ल्ड्स वेयर ओल्ड एज एंड हंगर एंड ओल्ड एज एंड डेथ देन द हंगर एंड द थर्स्ट देन थर्ड शोक एंड द मोह द डेल्यूजन एंड द ग्रीफ दे आर टोटली एब्सेंट to such worlds this departed soul goes if at that time it was under the predominance of the sattva guna that is why it is said we must keep on chanting the lord's name continuously all the time because we won't know when are we going to leave the body and suppose we leave the body at in a non satvik mood then our destination will be different the depending on this rule in bhagavat mahapuran this topic comes what is said there there it is said from the attitude of a person towards the world one can suspect where from he has come recently see we all also know suppose somebody has come from half sleep and all that so we ask are you all right why do you ask me question like that no you are looking very down and pulled yes i came out of the sleep immediately we know so if somebody has recently come from heaven before taking the human form he was in heaven what will be his lifestyle all cheer all happiness all sharing all giving because in heavens there is no dearth of anything such people are naturally of giving orientation they are naturally happy because they have never seen miseries in their life in the heavens story is not complete if somebody has come recently from the hell and what is the hell there they have made a pakoda out of you but you don't die then there you are cut into pieces but like the earthworm again you join and again they cut and there are many tortures one has gone through so when a person goes through all the tortures their attitude their lifestyle their understanding their orientation cannot be that of cheer and happiness but that will be of the revenge you know that will be of the aggressiveness this if you want to see best is the culture of delhi and the culture of bombay basic difference in delhi in 47 when thousands and thousands and lakhs and millions of people gathered after partition they had nothing with them that time there was only one way either kill or get killed that was the condition now that became the culture therefore aggressiveness at the cost of anything to survive that is the culture of delhi and therefore those business people who are who have been doing business in bombay and all that they don't want to go to delhi even the punjabis don't want to go those punjabis who are settled in bombay they don't want to go to delhi there is a friend of mine recently he has to go to delhi and his wife is to swami ji please do something i don't want to go to delhi i said amma you are a punjabi every punjabi is in delhi you go there no 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 i am a maharashtrian first and then a punjabi <laughs> I don't want to go to that place. It is such a horrible place. You know, Delhi is not a place to live. See, so those people who have been living in the hell before being born as a human being, they will have a total different orientation. This is how, when we leave the present body in a satvi gun, we will be going in the divine. That is why the word used is. संगराग हेतुक गौणम एव गौण मीन्स रिगार्डिंग द गुणाज गौण डजन मीन सेकेंडरी नाउ द सेकेंड वन 
सो लोकान अमलान मलरहितान प्रतिपद्यते प्राप्नोति इत्यर्थः सच पीपल गो इन द हायर वर्ल्ड देयरफॉर यू विल सी यू नो कल्चर म्यूजिक एटसेट्रा इज मोर इन दैट सोसाइटी व्हिच इज लेस डिस्टर्ब एज मच कल्चर एंड ऑल दैट यू सी इन द सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया दैट मच यू डोंट सी इन द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट because in the southern part the impact of the foreign invasion has been minimum but as you start going towards the north among punjabis or sindhis sindhis are the worst sufferers in this world therefore sindhis don't have culture their language have become almost dead there is nothing that they can have because constantly subjected to the tortures in their life so they have to defend themselves now the second one when we leave the body under the influence of rajoguna what happens rajasi pralayam gatva rajasi pralayam gatva karma sangishu jayate karma sangishu jayate tatha pralinas tamasi मूढ़ो निषु जायते सो रजसी गुणे विवृद्धे वेन वी डाय एंड दैट दैट टाइम इफ वी आर अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ रजोगुणा देन व्हाट एपन्स कर्म संगीषु जायते सच ए पर्सन इज बॉर्न इन द नेक्स्ट लाइफ कर्म संगी इस कर्मा शक्ति युक्तेशु मनुष्यशु जायते सच पीपल आर अगेन बॉर्न एज ह्यूमन बीइंग्स दिस इज हाउ यू नो इन अवर गरुड़ पुराण और समवेयर इट इज वेरी क्लियरली मेंशन दोज पीपल हु आर एक्सट्रीमली अटैच टू देयर रिलेशंस द मदर फादर चिल्ड्रन ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रन अंकल आंटी too much attached such people when they die they are again born in the same family and it can be very clearly seen as i told you one day an example there was one child born to somebody as a grandchild the son of the son grandchild now that father died extremely fond of his own family all the life gay 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 never going out of that he died <coughs> thereafter the son already had married he had one daughter and after about 7 8 years the son was born after the death of his father and when that grandson was born he was so much fond of his grandmother he will not leave her for one moment what type of clothes she should put on he will dictate and he used to have the same liking as his grandfather and then when it became too much then they approach the pandit and all that they say yes this happened then you do such and such shraddh and do this nagabali or narayan bali in nasik or trambakeshwar and then this will be taken care of this is how rajasi pralayam gatva because rajo ragatmakam vidhi in rajo guna there is too much att- attachment and such people they are very sincere dedicated to their family everything there is no doubt about it but they forget that they are caught up in their own creation of attachment that is one of the reason why you know in our uh, um, what is that sampradaya swami narayan sampradaya there are five very strict rules and many people they don't understand so they condemn they say why do you do like this i said look here what other should do you you have no problem you mind your business there was one swamini she came with me when we were in uh, bombay there was a very big exhibition if you remember in uh, chuna bhatti this um, Swami Narayan exhibition for almost six months. They had a very big exhibition, and that Pramukh Swami Ji was there. So when I went, 
they have informed. So they say, okay, please call Swami. The Pramod Swami is calling. So I went. Now that Swami was with me, so I told, I said, look here, I am leaving my khada. You have to also stop there. Okay, don't come. I am going to Pramukh Swami. And she was already angry. No, women, they don't see, they don't know. Oh. I went, I had my nice uh, food and everything. I had some talk and came. I said, hey, how did you enjoy? She was already boiling inside. And I enjoyed. Why should I suffer when somebody boils? Why they are doing like this? Thing? This is not spirituality. I said, look here, Amma, please understand one thing. They don't tell others to do that. They are practicing themselves. See, what spiritual practice I should do, I will decide or my guru will decide. The third party has no invasion in that area. I said, that is their tradition, Guru Shishya Parampara, that he who becomes a sadhu, he is not supposed to do the five things and they are following strictly. They are not supposed to put on the stitch clothes. They are not supposed to eat the food separately. All dishes they mix together and then they drink it, putting little water. Then third thing, they don't touch the money, the cash, etc. The fourth thing is, they do not look or talk to the woman. And fifth thing is, they do not keep any contact with any of their relations, including mother and father. Now these are their rules. But even Shankaracharya Bhagwan has gone to see his mother. And I said, look here, you are not understanding, you are reacting. See? When these kinds of arguments come, we fail to understand. So, <clears throat> such people who are extremely attached, they are again more in this karma sangishu, yonishu, manusheshu. Because only in the Manusha alone, there is too much of attachment to karma. Because karma is possible only in the human form. The lower yonis and upper, higher yonis, they are not karma yonis, they are only bhoga yonis. So whether, this is another very important topic, which helps the seeker grow spiritually. Whether the joy, uh, snake has while eating, gulping a frog or the joy Indra has while drinking a glass of Amruta, it is the same. It's not different. Because it is objective. There is no difference. See? Whether a mosquito protects itself from getting killed or we protect ourselves from getting killed, the basic principle of body identification is common. See? Therefore, this karma sangha, attachment to karma, is the result of this rajoguna. And when radasi pralayam gatva, such people who are too much action, action oriented, when they... <coughs> die, they are again born as human beings. Now here, one more example I'll give. How the too much action-oriented, taking this world to be real people, they are born again, what it means? It means, if I am in a position like Dhritarashtra was, what he wanted? My son alone should get the total kingdom. Now what is that? Because he sees himself reflected in his son. Every father sees himself reflected in his son. So again he is born in the human form means what? He doesn't want to give up. You will see all the political parties everywhere. When uh, I am there in the you know, chief minister position, then my son also should get the ticket and then he will win and then he will become the chief minister or the prime minister. And in this manner, this goes on and on and on. Because there is too much of attachment in karma and this is possible in the human form and mamata is possible only in the human form. Among the animals, the mamata is not for very long. 
the cow and the calf they maintain the cow and calf mother and the child relation only up to a particular limit afterwards both of them forget therefore radasi pralayam gatva karma sangishu jayate now the third one tatha pralinas tamasi mudha yonishu jayate tatha tadvadeva pralinah mrutah tamasi vivruddhe mudha yonishi pashvadishu yonishu jayate then they are born in the lower form such as the reptiles the animals the mosquitoes the cockroaches therefore remember the last the in our narad bhakti sutra i had told those people who sleep too much all the time on the bed they are born next life as the bed bugs mudha yonishu jayate that they don't want to leave the bed no god out of his compassion and love he says never mind i uh, give you such a birth that you don't have to leave the bed you be there all the time so pralinas tamasi what is the meaning of tamo gunas presence at the time of death leading us to these lower forms means there is lack of discrimination and there is lack of self respect to do something to achieve something then what is the life only enjoy whatever comes that's it bhoga pradhan you must have seen you know when this lions at least on the tv you must have seen the lions have got very calm and quiet vision they are not external they are not calm and quiet and when they run after the animal to hold and kill and then they catch hold of the jugular vein and like taking coca cola with a straw they go on drinking the blood that time also you watch their eyes they are doing it very coolly like the terrorists you will not find terrorists very excited because you know oh vivek they have no discrimination why they are doing what they are doing doing it in a under the influence of some foolish notion now such people tatha pralinas tamasi there is lack of discrimination what is the lack of discrimination the purpose of human existence is uddare dartanatmanam natmanam avasadayet is not recognized and only the whole life is spent only in lazing why my father has earned so much so why should i work that is being tamoguni you know if somebody has only blood flowing in his veins he will never take anything from the parents live dynamically earn fall down get up and prove your metal that is what his life is otherwise you know that is why you know i always feel this law should be changed in our uh, society in our government nothing is inher- inherited from the parents to the children then see everybody will be on toes now you have to fend yourself now what happens the father has misappropriated now see immediately misappropriation will also stop because this fellow knows even if i earn it can't be taken by my child so let me enjoy let him also learn he will teach him how to cheat others and everything so tatha pralina stamasi mudha yonishu jayate they are born in the life where there is no discrimination there is no glory of existence now <clears throat> after having told what are the signs of these three gunas predominantly while living what happens when we die under the influence of the predominance of three gunas now the third atita shloka arthasya eva sankshepa ha uchyate so what i said in the last three four verses that is being again summarized in the 16th verse so it is not only the summary but some more additional points are added that we have to discover karmana sukrutasya hu hu satvikam nirmalam phalam 
रजसस्तु फलम दुखम अज्ञानम तमस फलम सुकृत से कर्मण सात्विक से कर्मण इतना सुकृत मीन्स ऑल दोज एक्टिविटीज विच आर नॉट द एक्सप्रेस ऑफ लाइसेंशियस फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ वंस डिजायर्स सुकृत मीन्स ऑल दोज एक्टिविटीज ऑफ अवर लाइफ विच आर सैंक्शनड बाय द स्क्रिप्चरल एथॉरिटी सो लुकिंग आफ्टर अवर पेरेंट्स फुलफिलिंग अवर ड्यूटी डूइंग अवर जॉब सिंसियरली डूइंग द उपासना रेग्युलरली चैंटिंग द लॉर्ड्स नेम स्टडी ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड दस लिविंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड विद द डिग्निटी ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग दिस इज कॉल ए सुकृत वेल डन सो सुकृत से कर्मण सात्विक निर्मल फलम आहु आहु शिष्टा वाइज पीपल दे से वॉट सात्विक निर्मल फलम न वॉट इज सात्विक एंड निर्मल फलम टू थिंग्स सात्विक फल मीन्स हिज टोटल लाइफ इज ओरिएंटेड इन हाइयर लाइफ स्टाइल ही हेज गॉट वैल्यूज इन लाइफ such a person is leading a life not like the animals there is some pursuit there is some higher possibilities invoke and such people alone have the spiritual bend of mind because wherever there is sattva guna there is attraction towards something higher attraction towards reality attraction towards knowledge so सुकृत से कर्मण सात्विक फलम एंड निर्मल फलम निर्मल फलम मीन्स वॉट निर्मल मीन्स द माइंड आर द अंतकरण रिमेन्स ऑल द टाइम काम एंड क्वाइट यू मस्ट हैव एक्सपीरियंस दिस युअर सेल्फ वेन यू हैव सपोज यू आर रीडिंग समथिंग यू रेड एंड यू अंडरस्टूड और यू आर सिटिंग फॉर मेडिटेशन एंड नथिंग हैज डिस्टर्ब यू See that day, how great you feel, nirmalam. There is no agitation, and there is no laziness. So, whenever we lead a sattvic life, meaning what? When our life is an expression of discrimination, we make a yukta jivan. When there is higher goal in life, when we are no more uh, aggressive in our life as spiritual aggressiveness, no. and when we are no more lazy under the disguise of sattva guna because you know the quietness of the sattva guna and the quietness of the raju guna at the surface level looks alike we don't know when all these things are taken care of nirmalam phalam the mind becomes totally nirmal so there are two things one sukrutasya karmana satvikam phalam ahu hu satvikam phalam means you go to the higher gains in the outer world and nirmalam phalam ahu means our mind becomes purer and purer and remains pure you know what happens whenever we interact with the world interaction with the world is likely to precipitate likes and dislikes interaction with the world is likely to create attachment interaction with the world is likely to create arrogance or frustration all these things do not happen if we are practicing the satvika karma therefore karmana sukruta syahu ho satvikam nirmalam phalam then rajasastu phalam dukham and when we are practicing the rajasik karma misery and tamasa phalam adnyanam these parts will take in our next class om purnamadaha purnamidam purna at purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha हरि ओम